All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Quarry, the latest horror interactive title from Supermassive Games. If you guys have been following this channel for a while, you guys know that we love interactive style games. It's really one of my favorite genres, really. And uh, with uh, The Quarry, Supermassive is coming back into like the high production levels of Until Dawn, unlike their other series, the Dark Pictures Anthology, which I would say in comparison to this seems a lot less budget and a lot, lot less fleshed out. Like, there are a lot of kings in those games but we still enjoy them so if we're having fun with those we're ha gonna we're definitely having a lot of fun with this one as we already have two episodes down not a lot has happened so far but if you guys have not checked out the last two parts i would really recommend you go back and check it out because it is a story driven game every choice does make a difference so most probably no two gameplays are going to be the same as far as you don't make the same choices at least but yeah uh, two episodes down super fun and let's jump right back in So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Yeah, let's eavesdrop. You know we're gonna eavesdrop. What? Because kids are kids. You can only do so much of those. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Mmm, things are brewing. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know... Listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Come on, that's no fun. But fine, fine. We'll be nice. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do Kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? 
I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. I mean, he's clearly on edge. Whatever's happening. And the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left him. Uh -huh. Really, dude? Was in a mug Let's all along? Out. You missed that. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Too bad go. it isn't going to start now, is it? What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Ah, God. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Dude's really on edge, man. Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Got it. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? I mean, I'll try. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down.
So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. See, that sounds like a stupid idea. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. I mean, who's going to say no to this? <laughs> yeah, man. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> okay, I mean, he seemed freaked out, right? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're already bored of him, so I guess we... I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's just go with the flow. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me. Oh, man. Was that a mistake? Did I mess up? Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Probably should have just stayed, right? Damn it. Being alone is never a good idea. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. What the hell? We got snipers and shit? Hello? What's on a sign? Just just show me the sign, dude. Hunting seagull? What? It's hunting season. Alright. Alright. Begs the question. What are you guys hunting? Alright, here we I go. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Didn't find any cards, though. Let's see what you found. Nothing really. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Think I messed up. Should have probably found them, something. Please.
you'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I mean, yeah, this time, this time we're definitely going to be on the lookout for cards. I think there was a card in the lodge. I just, I got the bags way too quickly, I guess. So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail, or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well, what? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. We can get it, we don't have to kick it, it's fine. There we go, and Viola. Your I don't think it's man. Viola, it. but okay. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> ah, dude. No, they don't. You should have stopped right there. Okay, so if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? I don't know the fridge. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Dude, how did you get a girl <laughs> with that attitude? I'm just noticing how super lame you are. What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. <sighs> wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Oh, if we can get that. Hmm. Think it's locked. I don't know what we'll do with money, but... Oh, maybe there's a gun there? Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! Oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh, dude, you're so lame. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Disgusting. Absolutely okay. disgusting. I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. All right, so we are on the lookout for tarot cards, and definitely if we can find the uh, find the code for the locker. What is this? All right, I guess nothing to do there. Can we turn on the flashlight or something? Harem Scarum?
Come on, what kind of a store is this? This is a maze. Why would you why would you design it like this? Who buys this crap? All right, we really are going for dud here. All right, I guess that can be helpful in the long run. friends oh yeah uh yeah definitely scare him can't pass up an opportunity like this okay have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants because you're about to <sighs> oh my all right, now where should I hide? Yeah, real genius hiding spot you got there. Jacob! Emma? Hello? Like, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. Oh, that was a dud if I've what? ever seen one. Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... No, dude, no. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. Jacob, dude, you gotta up your game. What is wrong with you? Alright, I wanna I wanna check this out real quick. Lodge renovation plans blueprints for a structural repair on the lodge's chimney column. Judging by the scrolled annotations, this is not something Chris Hackett has the money to action right now. Okay. Okay, that might be I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna be helpful, but I'm gonna take anything that I can right now. I mean, nothing has happened so far. I feel like things are gonna happen tonight at the party or whatever. But I still need to, you know, get all the information that I can. I wonder where this goes. Yeah, no, we're not gonna want to kick it. Jacob! Come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. 
How is this Jacob dude so lame? Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother lad. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. You think he'll be pissed when we raid his stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. All right. This, hopefully, I get something out of this. Evidence, okay. What does that uh, mean? Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. Okay. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Okay, okay, this makes a lot of sense, actually. Be on the lookout for evidence. Damn, I love this. Okay. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. It look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Torn bags. Did a bear. Torn hiking bags dashed with flecks of dried blood. Okay. Bear do this. Oh, is oh, that a gun? Cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool! And, uh... 7739, code. remember that. Ooh, maybe we get ammo in the locker? For the gun? Okay, they're all lame. Okay, okay. you guys deserve each other. I'm done. <laughs> Are you sure you're done? Why don't we take the chips? I mean, come on, you're gonna have a party without chips? So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. And we are gonna go look at the safe. Oh, thank you for holding the door up. <clears throat> All right. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> Those are shells, right? Yep. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, we take them. Yeah, we definitely take them. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Yeah, no, we take the fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. It can be used to <laughs> yeah, attack yeah, things yeah. and also fireworks. signal. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jacob, you're like the hey, lamest person I've I ever found met. these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops! Dude, P 
peanut butter fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, How is this a grown ass man? I pop. will never understand. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Well, well, you're gonna love them. Well, oh my God. Right. well <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel. Wait, you've wheels, never heard of a wheelbarrow? Put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm -hmm. Which way? All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> yeah, it everyone's no lame. Bounds. They all deserve each other. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? I don't know, man, a lot. Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. All right, let's check out everything so that we do not miss another tarot card. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Reagent. Cool, yeah. Me too. All right, are we supposed to feel some are kind the, of uh, vibe songs? between them? Because I do not. Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah, uh, okay. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? Dude, that's not how- I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. We're gonna have to wait. Dude, did you not know how phones work? I mean, you're listening to a podcast probably on some kind of device. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Oh my god, we really, we really are going the 
romantic route with these guys. Oh, you know what? We're gonna keep an open mind and go for it. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Mmm, uh, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Oh my god, is that a hatch? Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Oh, okay, so it's Secret in the same timeline. I, I thought... Dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. I thought Probably maybe they were like different timelines. Okay. basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. Alright, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Maybe just shut it for now. Can we explore later or you know what? No, let's just let's just go. I have a feeling I kinda messed up something again or like I at least missed out on something. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh my god, it's that place. I had place. you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Okay. Okay, that is good. Thank god. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> All right, man, are we done playing? Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. <sighs> All right, so, um... Okay, we can probably go back down again if we like get a flashlight. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for um, bears. Yeah, so we're keeping it. Bears here? 
Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah. Not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. I mean, that's right. I, <laughs> You're I, mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, we already do have one gun, so that's good. Uh, these don't look up to date yet. I wonder if we can get like a flashlight so that they can go down and explore. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? Oh, that I, I'm sounds sorry, is that so something wrong. that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Whoa. Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just... Hidden? Dude, dude, stuff. you're in denial. This is completely Yeah, that's what hidden. a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Alright, dude's either really freaked out or or just straight up creepy. Huh. 
Wait, so... Okay, so like those were letters for Laura, right? So which means people out there are looking for her. Alright, I guess that is all. What was that? Oh! It's probably nothing. This guy looks a bit like Cole Sprouse, don't you guys think? Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Alright, let's head back and uh, check out the rest of his secret area. Okay, let's explore a little bit more. Maybe the phones will charge a bit more if we do that. We can definitely take the guitar, please. Alright, we can't take the guitar then. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Okay, so we know where to find medicine and uh, a gun in case of an emergency. Nice. Full up. Okay, I, I want to know if I can, like, take the phone and maybe, like, go down to the basement. Nice. Full up. It's definitely not full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. All right, guys, I think we're going to end the episode here. I mean, nothing much happened in this episode, I guess, but like I can see the build up and I have like, I have a feeling that something big is going to happen in the next one. Like the party is going to go down and that's when I think, you know, the mess is gonna happen but uh, so yeah really looking forward to that obviously and yeah if you guys have had fun with the video if you guys are enjoying the series you guys know the drill hit that like and subscribe button that's the best way to support the channel also while you're down there hitting the notification bell is the best way to stay up to date with whenever the next video comes live and with that being said this has been your boy blackout haze and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>